Hello everyone, welcome to Beast Casina. Today I am trying to tackle the bathrooms uh, in my house, which uh, need to be clean. Um, I already have taken everything out of my uh, my stand-up shower, uh, minus these, which I'm gonna take out in a minute. Um, these are great, you get them at Walmart. I think it's like for $3 or something. I really like them. Um, so, uh, this is where we put our towels and I'm taking them out because they're going to be in the way of cleaning. So this is the way it goes. Cleaning time. It could be a little bit of a messy process, but someone have to do it, right? <laughs> and that's precisely what I'm doing. Um, the two ingredients I'm going to use is the really awesome um, solution that I made with uh, that I cleaned my... Um, my uh, my stove with and if you haven't seen that video go look at it but i'm also adding um the dawn power wash everyone keeps saying if any cleaning lady says if you want to clean your room up your bathrooms properly use um the dawn power wash and why not let's try that out and see how that goes so i already spray the dawn and the power wash in there i just skipped that process because it was going to take lengthy time to do it and i'm giving like maybe 15 to 20 minutes to work this magic i should have left it longer but you know when you have time that's when you have time you sometimes don't have time to plan it and on top of that you need some ventilation so make sure you have some ventilation so you can see um smell because i can smell the pow the 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 dawn power and i'm not sure i don't think this have ammonia mixture so at least i checked that so you shouldn't be smelling these fumes um but as you can see my stand-up shower have a lot of intensive uh mold um that is building and i know some people say that you're supposed to put like um either some alcohol or vinegar and that is precisely maybe what i'm go i will do after the process of cleaning it up and put that in there but you have a lot of soap scum up here and definitely need a little cleaning so that's why we're doing this uh we also i cannot get inside but this is us this area here i sprayed it on the minerals too and i I don't think I sprayed it there. Let me spray it there because I think I might have missed that part there. I don't know if I did, but I'm gonna spray it anyway. Okay. And um, basically, uh, that's all I did. The, I did the power wash and then I did the LA Awesome, awesome um, um, multi purpose one that you I already have in the other link. I also did it for my sink. Uh, my sink's a little dirty too so i'm trying to do those too and of course i sprayed it on my tub see my tub is pretty big and i still have a lot of stuff to remove from but this is reality i don't know if anyone else out there have the bathroom neat and perfect every time it doesn't work that way at least it doesn't work for me but i'm being as realistic as possible and that is part of the charm of my channel uh you'll see the real truth and why not um so i also bought um a broom and a stick from dollar tree i saw it uh this girl my girl lady of the dime you know she's amazing so uh, i just wanted to use the same method i bought a broom from dollar tree and i bought a one of the holders for the and then i just put it like that and that's my that's going to be my method of trying to get into the grind and stuff there so let's see how that goes i'm going to try to if i can put in a stand of some sort so you got you guys can see things but i'm gonna be honest this is not gonna be a pretty picture just don't expect pretty when you're cleaning the top and the bathroom so just keep that in mind let me put it right here. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna try to see if I can put it like oopsie. Okay, of course it's not gonna work. Okay. 
So let's see if we can do it here and you guys can see better. Oh, no, 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 that's not gonna work either. Okay. Okay, how about there? I don't wanna put it all the way in the top, but I think I'm gonna have to, because in order for you guys to see it, it's gonna have to be done. Okay, there you go. Let's see if that works. Well, you guys are at least gonna see the top, because I can't do too much of it. And my phone is not gonna be able to stay there too long either, because the water and everything, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're gonna get started in a couple minutes. Let's get this party on a roll. And I'm gonna throw some water and then get that going let's see how that goes okay so you grab the broom and i'm just gonna go ahead and go with the broom and see how that broom is going to react to those things let's see if you guys can see this i'm gonna do the bottom part first for my camera falling so much but it isn't so much i can do when you're trying to film and do this at the same time If the mold comes off, but I don't know if it's going to come off. I believe I have to leave it longer for it to come off. Because it's not going to come on overnight. 20 minutes, that's all I put it in for. And I'm not sure if that's going to be enough time for it. can see something of it. I've been having to fall and prep and all this stuff. So when I spray water, I'm going to know if some of the mold came off. So I'm going to see if it comes up. I'm using the room from the balcony. I'm trying to get all the young stuff. I really recommend to leave it for last longer. If you want everything to come up, because it's definitely going to be not easy coming up by myself. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's take it out of here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't fall. Okay. 
some of the uh, edges are already coming off, so I just can write them. Coming off on the... So keep that in mind. Might not be seeing it, but I'm doing the glass and right here. So and this one is brand new, so I'm planning to use it only on the bathroom. That is my plan. Hopefully that works for everyone that I can spend. What is it? 125 plus. One twenty-five. That's like uh, three dollars, maybe. No, three fifty. Two fifty on this. Make up some more water here. Sometimes I, I wish I had a spray gun <laughs> so they can make it easier, but. here so and then open the door so we definitely want to get it wet and get it done pretty good because the broom can go up and down, up and down. I don't know if you guys can see it, but up and down the glass. And we'll know if uh, scratch the surface or anything. I have no idea if it will, but it's my first time doing it, but I said I'll try it. I'll try it once and then I'll let you guys know it. I'll probably put it in my videos if this turns out good. If not, what I'm going to do. Probably not post the video, but hopefully you guys get to benefit from it. Some water in here, and then move the funnel a little so 
what I'm gonna want. And this is not gonna be perfect, but you know what? Definitely gotta clean this house. Oh, you spend a shower. Okay, so let's see how this is turning out here. is perfect when you're recording a video, but it is what it is. And there is some stuff coming off from the cork, but that's my husband's gonna have to take care of that. <laughs> that that thing was coming up the minute that that person installed it because it wasn't a waterproof uh, the, the sealer and we paid for it but we got dipped up I guess the guy just ripped us off and gave us like a plastic that definitely wouldn't recommend them at all this was the point of recommending someone that didn't even use real seal to seal the container here. Okay, well, that wasn't very fun. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Oh my God, this phone is keep falling. Sorry guys. This is live recording, so it's not gonna be perfect. Probably, ah, come on. Okay. Definitely dedicate some time for this because it's not going to take you 10 minutes. It's going to take you maybe a half hour to an hour to do. I gave it like 20 minutes. Now I'm using the rest of it. You know, my brother came and he told me that, you know, that seal that that guy put was strong and wasn't waterproof. Water resistant, actually. So... I told him and he was like, oh no, my guy did a good job, but he didn't. He really didn't, because that thing was coming off like nonstop. Even after one day, it was already coming off. And that's because he didn't put it properly. So, it is what it is. Anyway, if you see that the, 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 the you probably have to come back and do something like that, but I don't know, I think it's pretty good. Okay, well, let's put point this up like that. So I can and you can go up to there you go. We're getting this on the roll. Okay, what about here? Well, I have to say that not everything came out, but the room did, did a bit, do a good job of cleaning those areas that were hard to reach without having to do too much. And I'm taking all those things that are falling off. Use this at your own risk. Once I'm done with the wall and the floor, what I'm planning on doing is doing the mirror of And just splashing water on them. Um, try not to put too much power down 
because it will take a while to take it off if you do. But otherwise, I think it's pretty it's turning out pretty good. And I'll show you the end result when I'm done. Okay. This way. So we can wash that part. Okay. Here you go. Getting wet here. Okay. Yeah, wear comfy clothes that you don't love too much. Because <laughs> you're gonna get wet. <laughs> Whether you want it or not. Alright, clean the shower. Alright. Okay, so I mean this is a stand-up shower, so keep that in mind. And your, your hair probably is going to get wet too. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's splashing everywhere. Hopefully, my phone doesn't get wet in the process. I need the broom anymore, but I'm just gonna take all this stuff out of here. So pieces of salt, the broom coming off a little bit of tweak.
up and basically show you guys what the end result is. I definitely recommend uh, washing the, 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 the sand up with the Dawn. Um, depending on what um, I, I wouldn't recommend leaving it too long, that's for sure, but definitely is worth cleaning. At least the regular tiles, I would recommend it. I would not recommend doing the mirror part because it's too rough for it. Try to use something else like a scrub or a towel or even a squeegee on it. Oh, I need to clean my phone, it's super wet. Okay, guys, before it gets all drenched out. Because it's going to get drenched out. Hopefully I don't pause the video. But I don't want it to get. Okay. So let's stop this. And show you the end result. Because that's what it comes down to. It. Is it worth it? Getting a, um, a, a broom from Dollar Tree. And putting a little bit of power wash in there. And um, Dawn power wash. And um Grub it. I would have to say yes, it is worth it. It's worth it doing. Don't expect that all the mold and all the stuff is gonna come off because that's not gonna happen. Don't expect that much. Um, uh, would I clean the tub or clean the the stand up tub? Yes, it would. It would do a good job on it. Look, it would definitely do a good job on it. But like I said, some of the mold areas are not going to come off. And that is just part of it. Um, some of the stuff will not come off. Some of the stuff will come off. Which is, I'm not complaining, but I definitely have to do the mirror better. Because obviously this is not doing a good job. You, I would recommend using like one of those towels that I use in the kitchen. Uh, just make sure you put shower or towel towel whatever because that's what's gonna happen um i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna clean them properly with my little rag right here and make sure that they're clean properly because at the end of the day they are not gonna be clean properly unless you do squeegee manually and all that and then you can go back and dry dry everything out and you know and maybe use um a scrub to do those delicate areas in your in your stand up top but so far i am pleased with the result i can go in here hopefully i don't fall because it's still like a little bit of slippery but over here is totally clean i can see that it clean a little bit i mean the subs comes right here didn't quite took it off but if you're doing a surface clean it is pretty good do it with a broom don't waste so much time but if you're getting like the mold and things like that that is the only way it's going to come off as if you put maybe a little bit of clocks or something like that i'm gonna illustrate this in the top and i'm just gonna clean the top i'm not gonna do too much just because i want you guys to see it and action but otherwise let me see if you can see that can you see that yeah, my probably you guys can see that now. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to to put my phone that you guys can see it. But let's see if I can do this. Stand it up here. Maybe put it here. And try to do that. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to really show you guys how to clean with this instead of me holding it. And showing you and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie it's gonna be a little hard trying to do both but you can see if you have like some fear soap stone definitely that is gonna take care of it you can use the broom for that purpose and it will take care of it It down. I want the water to go down, and you're gonna use this to 
scrub, scrub, scrub. Let's see how good the scrub this thing is. Let's record it while I'm doing it myself. I would need a free hand to do that, but I'm trying my best here. I guess I get a point for effort. <laughs> going to do a little bit of cleaning but like I said um not without some let me see if I can put this here I don't want to put it here and fall down but that's not gonna happen but okay let's keep doing this definitely can scrub around it I wanted to try this and see if it'll work and it would definitely probably work if I do it by myself without recording. But right now, I'm having a hard time recording and doing it at the same time. Oopsie. Okay. You see? That's... I think what I will do is to maybe take the, the brush off of it or the stem from it and try to do it without it. Let me see if that works. Because right now, it's... I'm tackling the pole and I'm tackling the... It's too much tackling right now. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my hand's too slippery right now, so I don't know if I can take it off. Can I take it off? No. Doesn't come off, but it doesn't want to come off. And my hands are not strong enough. Okay. I am going to try to do it without recording it because right now it's Total fail when you record it and try to do this at the same time. It's just not gonna happen. But I like the way that the, the broom gets to the handle of the water. It definitely helps. And if you don't have to record it like I am doing it right now, it'll definitely work out. Yeah, it'll definitely be easier. Been doing it like this. Let me see if I can take off put my gloves on. Do we have any gloves in here? <sighs> yeah, I would definitely recommend you grab a glove, but if you don't, use a Ziploc bag. That's what I have right now. Ziploc bag. I'm going to take something out of here because <sighs> I didn't mean to take this thing off for the longest. Ugh. I don't know it's going to come off. No, it's not going to come off. Okay. I have like a hair thing that's supposed to hold it here that I got a Ross. But I'm gonna be honest, I think it's not really working. It's not really doing anything for me. No, no, no. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to do the walls a little bit here. Let me see if I can do this side here and it helps a little bit. I doubt it. You know, those things you have to really 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 use a squeegee or something to make it easier for yourself i see if you use it i see it on the side like that on the edges of the of the top yeah it definitely will work better than trying to do it straight like this not like this but like that and go around like that Definitely help. And you can also get into the green things of, of things. Let's see this. Okay. Oh, so what? There you go. Ah. I think it doesn't want to stay, so. Okay. See if this is gonna work. I'm gonna rinse it out. Remember that I'm not to put too much towel on because you don't want to get too much and it's gonna be harder to take it out. That's my recommendation, but you can towel or you can put as much as your heart can touch. That is the limit. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is all the hair that was in the top because this room is brand stinky clean. 
and it shouldn't have any 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 anything else. But it does have some hair, probably my hair, from the top. Okay, let's eat. Good. This is a workout here. Okay. I'm gonna try to see if I can take this thing off. I'm tired of it already. Oh, that thing is so hard to take off. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it later. Okay. And that was my child for it. Okay, let's see how this thing actually clean. Let's see a couple of Feel that. Let's just try to take it out. You see a little bit of soft foam right here, but I didn't spray that area to play the tooth with the dawn. So. So, would I use this broom again and save my back a little bit? Yep, I would. I definitely would. This one try to record it at the same time because it's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I have a stand on for it, it would work, but not like that. Okay. Let's see. And the salt. And they told me it's worth it. I mean, I think it's worth it, but... At the end of the day, it's not about me, it's about you guys' opinion. I just did the one side of it, I didn't do the whole thing. I'll probably do the whole thing after I'm done with you guys on the video. Just give me a heads up on that. But for some reason, there's always a lot of dust in this house. For more than, I think when you have carpet, it's not that dusty. And I think I'm gonna cut that thing off because I'm tired of it. I'm going to try to cut it off with this and if that's doing anything for me. And if it does, I guess we'll see now. I'm going to try to cut it off and hopefully I can get it out. Because right now it's like annoying the heck out of me. And if it does get a lot of hair in there, go for it. I'm so fed up with it that I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> I think it's, I cut it. Yeah, I cut it. No, I did not cut it. Okay. I think maybe it's because it has so much hair stuck in there that it's having a hard time getting out, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what's the problem with this thing. But there's definitely a lot of hair stuck in there. So maybe they did good, do a good job on this top and on, on the other girls on the other side. Yep. Let's see if I can do it like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like a rubber, like a plastic rubber, and it's so nasty. It doesn't want to come off. Ah, yeah. And it's all around the thing. Oh, I'm getting tired of this. You need to come up. Come on, come on, come on. Ay, padre. Okay, this thing is harder than I thought it was going to be. Either there's a lot of hair stuck in there, or this thing is, doesn't want to come off. Uh, okay. Well, one piece came off, but the hair... The rest of the stuff doesn't want to come off. Okay. Oh, I just hope I don't have to call a stir. Uh, what is it? A, um, there you go. Finally. So somehow they got stuck on it. 
but it's not worth it because it's so much, so much hard work to do that thing. God, give me a break. Oh, that's ridiculous. I don't want nothing to do with it right now. So, and this one, at least some hair got stuck. But is it worth it? I don't think so. Okay, I'm done with that. Oh, thank God. Both of them are gone. Is it worth it using the Dawn and the uh, LA Awesome on your top? Well, I'm gonna say yes. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be you guys determining if this is worth doing it. Um, let me try to get a little bit of water here clean because this is going to make a mess of water. So definitely want to do that right now. Oh my god, all the soap is coming off. Yay, I like it. I definitely I'm gonna be honest, dude. It helps with your back. It does. Do you still have to work hard? Yes, it does. So you can see I'm sweating like a dog right now. Is it worth it to clean both of these things here? I guess it is. It is worth it because anything, cleaning, cleaning the shower and everything takes time regardless of what you do. So this is the after. And that's the after effect right here. And I'm still have to clean up a little bit right here because I can't wet it too much. It's gonna go on the floor. But otherwise, um, the 250 um, broom is it worth it? Like everyone's saying, yeah. If you want to save your back a little bit, but I'm gonna be honest. I think I had to use my go down there and try to scrub a little bit more too. Maybe I would take the handle off when it's this kind of deep of a one. Um, if it has a lot of uh, build of uh, soap scum, it's gonna take a little bit of elbow room there for you to scrub, 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 and try to take it off. It's just the way it's going to be. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. Well, sorry for dropping my 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 phone so many times, but this is real life and this is how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys really like like that, this kind of video is an honest review. It might be a little messy <laughs> review too because at the end of the day, we have a lot um, going on. And as you can see, I have two kids, so I have to tackle things for me. And I have an, besides the 45 minutes to go pick them up from school. So I don't have too much time to clean. Maybe afterwards, I'll come back and finish everything up. But right now, at least the stand-up shower is clean. I just have to do the, the mirrors. And once that's done, then it is it is what it is. I mean, if you guys like this uh, review, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Um, whatever you think, give me your opinion. If there's anything else out there that can remove some scum, I would love. Uh, I mean, moldo, 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 <laughs> you know, like... It's like, because I do have some, but I do believe that I have seen so many videos is all about applying a little bit of clogs all around it and try to kill it off. And then using vinegar afterwards to disinfect it. That's the way, probably what I'm going to do next. Um, but this is it. I'll see you next time on Beast Cocina and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Goodbye.